Hey everybody, here we are, CC Cycle 3 and week 12. This is the last week wrapping up our second quarter and the beginning of our Christmas break. So today we are starting with uh, math as usual and we're learning about teaspoons and tablespoons. So we're going to sing this to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot because um, teaspoons and teapot kind of sound like each other and they can remind us of the tunes. So teaspoons and tablespoons, three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce, one fluid ounce, teaspoons and tablespoons. So once again, it's teaspoons and tablespoons, three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce, teaspoons and tablespoons. And you can also do that with your hands if you wanted to. You could just do three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. And that is how we remember our teaspoon and tablespoon equivalents. And so for English, we have the verb to sit. And we're gonna do it in all the different verb tenses. And at your house, you could just get out chairs if you wanted to, benches, whatever you have, and um, keep sitting in all the different chairs. In class, we went around our table and everybody scooted their chairs out so that we could fit around the table and we just went around the table sitting in each chair as we sang to sit, 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 sat, sitting, sat, to sit, 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 sat, sitting, sat. And every time we said a new verb tense, we would sit in the chair next to us and then we would stand up, slide to the next chair. Um, lots of fun ways you can do that at home but any chairs, you can even do it without chairs if you wanted to and just get lower and lower as you sit to the ground. Um, all fun things, but English to sit, sit, sits, sat, sitting and sat. And that is it. For history, tell me about General Robert E. Lee. So for our hand motions for this are, in 1865, General Robert, A-S-L-R, E. Lee, surrendered and in class we drew the white flag on the board with the history statement and we talked about how that white flag went being raised and then surrender so in our history motions we're surrendering we're waving that white flag of surrender so um robert e lee surrendered to general ulysses s grant at appomattox courthouse in virginia so again that's in 1865 general Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant, an, an ASLG, at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia. And that's our motions for history. For Latin, we have the translation of John chapter 1, verse 1. So on my board, we wrote up <clears throat> all the different words, um, each of the matching words we're in the same color. So in and in, we're both in a color. Principio and beginning, we're both in the same color. Erat and was, we're both in the same color. And verbum and word, we're both in the same color. So that way we can see the correlation between each of those words that are translated. And then the words the, uh, I wrote in black. And immediately the kids noticed that um, that's because there's no translation for the article the in Latin. So um, what we did was we listened, I read out both of those sentences, and then um, we actually listened to the, the, the song version of it um, by King's Things, and you can listen to that on YouTube, you can find them on Spotify. Um, they have made songs for all the different um, Bible scripture memory that we've done for each cycle in CC, including um, John chapter one. So. We listened to it, and then what I would do is I would say it in Latin, and they would tell me what that meant in English, and then we reversed. I said it in English, and they would tell me what each of those words meant in Latin. And we did it to um, some motions. So, in, in, principio, erat, where boom. 
And so um, this is in the beginning was the word, the word. And so um, those are the motions that we did for both the Latin side of it and the English. And we sang through that several times doing our motions. So in the beginning was the word. In principio era where boom. And that is our Latin. Okay, for a timeline, we have Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. This is a G for ASL, and this is the ruler. So Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. Okay, then we have England's Magna. This is the sign for great, sign for England. England's Magna Carta. We do this because this is the, the sign for law back when we do Babylon. And so law, contract, we just use C instead for Carta. It's the same thing. So England's Magna Carta. Then we have Ottomans and Ottoman Empire. Make an O and then we're going to do like a sideways oval in the shape of Turkey. So Ottoman Empire. And then we have Marco Polo's Journey to China. And for that, we're doing the buttons on their formal wear. So you go here, here, and here as the buttons on the formal wear that they would wear in China. And then we have the Hundred Years War. So 100, this is a C for century, which is 100. So 100 Years War and Black Death. You can choose whether you would like to do for Black Death or the literal translation for Black Death, which is black black death you just take your hands and they lay down so um the hundred years war and black death the renaissance make an r and that means renaissance is about rebirth so r for rebirth and then you're just going to take it the sign for rebirth is to go under and up so the renaissance Hi. and and China's Ming Dynasty. So again, the buttons and um, they're the rebuilding of the wall because during the Ming Dynasty, they rebuilt a lot of the Great Wall of China. And that is all of our timeline. And this is Sweet Sky joining us. Okay, for geography, we have the Southern Appalachian Mountains. And I'm going to point those out to you guys here. I have them already highlighted this week in class so that everybody could see um, exactly where they were without having to guess. So here we have the, yeah. the Great Valley, the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Smoky Mountains, the Cumberland Mountains in purple, and this triangle is Mount Mitchell. And there is our geography. So we added this to our tune of Coming Around the Mountains from last week. And this is how the song sounds for this week. Southern Appalachian Mountains, here we come. Southern Appalachian Mountains, here we come. The Great Valley, Blue Ridge Mountains, Smoky Mountains, Cumberland Mountains, and Mount Mitchell, here we come. And that is our geography. And last but not least, we have science. And I got this song from Eric Fielkoff on YouTube. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. It's Eric and Piper. They sing songs together and a lot of them are usually originals. If you haven't seen them on YouTube, they're fantastic. Um, and we had been doing all of our science songs to Missy Wilson's video. And um, this week, I loved their idea of singing the purposes of blood to the tune of nothing but the blood of Jesus or what can wash away my sins. And so we are um, going to do it that way because I thought it was a pretty great way to remember the purposes of the blood. So what are the major purposes of blood? The major purposes of blood are transportation, protection, communication, and regulation. So the song sounds like this. What are the major purposes of blood? The major purposes of blood are transportation, protection, Communication, regulation. What are the major purposes of blood? The major purposes of blood are transportation, 
protection, communication, and regulation. Oh, precious is the flow that make washes white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And that is our science. What are the major purposes of blood? And um, that's everything for our memory work for week 12. I hope this is helpful. And I do wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. That your homes and your hearts are filled with the love of Jesus Christ during this time. Um, and that you are able to celebrate and be merry regardless of all the things going on around us because there is so much to be thankful for in Christ and in his love. Um, and I hope that you remember that this season. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next year, 2021. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.